You never see nobody with a dull face, you never see nobody miserable. It's not like it one day, it's every day. I was expecting a completely different experience when I came in because I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to be volunteering in daycare services at hospice. This might be a, li a little bit depressing. It was completely fantastic. My wife, Tina, she got diagnosed uh, with cervical cancer at the end of 2012. And then she underwent treatment at Heartlands for about six months and she went into remission, what we thought anyway. And then about six months later, we found out again that it had come back and was terminal. So as time progressed, obviously she became more poorly and the symptoms became a lot worse. Obviously we struggled at home really, in all fairness. Um, and so originally we, was, we looked to here to, to come in for some respite care. I think the Marie Curie experience is we're very much about life and the quality of life and we're here to ensure that all the patients who come for our care um, do achieve that as best as possible. We do have the most amazing building, however it's the, it's the people that work here, be it staff or volunteers and of course the patients that makes it so special. I think we go the extra mile every day um, to individualise the care that people get at Marie Curie. We see people coming to Marie Curie as a whole, so we embrace the family as well and it's really important to us that we include them in everything that we do and uh, take them on that journey and support that family right through to the end. Having two young children uh, is hard enough for the, uh, the, the easiest of times sort of thing and just coming in here uh, with two kids and obviously I needed to spend some time with Tina. Um, having the playroom facilities, outside playroom faci play facilities, um, it was means Ben and Grace could go off and just spend a little bit of time by themselves um, while I could go and see Tina. Um, and, and just the way that just the way the staff interacted with the kids as well, they always made them feel welcome. They always took time with them. They always said hello. They always they always chatted to them and see how they were doing. Obviously, with everything going on as well, um, and and it just it just made it. It just put everybody at ease. In all fairness, I met all the family together, and then um, Grace and Ben came for one to one support. So initially, I worked with them one to one, but then actually worked with the whole family unit together. They were really nice and kind to me and Grace. They were really supportive and whenever we just wanted to talk to someone they were always there to talk to. I think the, the reason why there's a lovely atmosphere at uh, Marie Curie is um, a lot to do with the staff and the volunteers that are here. They want to be here to start off with. It's like a big, in a sense, family unit that the focus is on the patient and the family. Um, and because there's so many different services that is on offer, um, you know, I think that actually helps. Just on the first day I came in, just the volunteers are so happy and we all know each other so well and we end up knowing the patients so well and you get to know them very personally and um, the patients really enjoy it as well. I think when they, find, when they first come in, some, some of them have been a little bit reserved or a little bit scared by the experience but progressively they just get to know each other really well they soon really enjoy it and then we're ever so upset and uh, miss them terribly when we have to discharge someone because they're too healthy to be here anymore. It's definitely about quality of life that's the focus here and people come in perhaps fearing that it may be the last place they're going to be but actually when they come through the doors they soon discover that the atmosphere is quite different from what they expected. It's not a depressing place, but a place that's focused on living to the best um, that we can. What Anne did when she was doing the, um, when she was looking after the kids as well, she would come up with activities that would involve us all as a family. We made pillar cases uh, in Tina's room, and what we did was painting each other's hands, and we was doing handprints all over the pillar cases, and uh, and then we'd got these little squirty paint pens and stuff, and we was writing messages, and and it, it, it just and we ended up in a bit of a paint fight in the end. There was paint, there was handprints everywhere, and and Tina was covered in paint, and and it, it was just really good fun. It was it was just one of them things that just made things, you know, a, a nice afternoon, you know, for us all. There are so many people willing to help and who go out of their way to make sure that you don't feel all alone, that you're not, you know, the only person in the world. And they make you feel that you're valued. And yes, it's, it's a great place to be. And nothing's too much to anything you want. There's nothing uh, 
you know, there's nothing out the way, nothing they can't do for you. That's why I love it. I love it so much.